Our order for medication is 4.5 milligrams POQ6H. What's available? 800 micrograms per 50 milliliters. If this patient is prescribed this medication for three days, how many milliliters are needed to fill the prescription? We're going to round to the nearest milliliter. So formula method is D over H times, I'm going to put two letters here, Q, and in parentheses, I'm going to put V, uh, and that's going to give us our milliliters. So your D is that your dose needed. Your H is dose on hand. Q usually stands for quantity. I use that, I use Q when I'm thinking about tablets. When I'm doing liquid, I think about volume, which is my milliliters. There's nothing in here that takes care of any conversions. So just like before, we are going to have to turn milligrams into micrograms. So I'm going to take 4.5 milligrams, multiply that by 1,000 micrograms in a milligram, and now we know that it's 4,500 micrograms that we need. We also then need to look at our number of doses. That's going to be 24 hours divided by 6 hours again means that there's four doses per day. So four doses per day times three days, that's going to give us 12 doses. I need 4,500 micrograms over what's available or what's on hand. What's on hand is 800 micrograms. Multiply that by what is our volume. This is why I think about volume because it's our 50 milliliters. That's going to give me 5.625 times 50 is equal to 281.25 milliliters. Remember, this says round to the nearest milliliter. So that's our ones place. We look behind, we see a two, which stays the same. So our final answer would be 281 milliliters.